The West Ham game also brought a return to the team for London-born Neil Ruddock. The Razor's sharp play and sharp wit had been sorely missed. He may not be a scouser, but he is an honorary copite. Scousers are, are like Cockneys. They are, they're very funny people, very friendly people. So, I mean, when I arrived here, you know, it was like um, being at home, really. You've got a good rapport with the crowd as well, haven't you? Yeah, they're great. I mean, uh, it's off the bat with the crowd on your side that makes it a lot easier to go out there and, uh, you know, do your stuff. And still right. Oh, hit the far post. And runs back like a kid. There are not many players that have the guts to actually turn around in the middle of the game and give the fans a bit of a waiver. You do that quite often, then. Yeah, I mean, uh, I enjoy it, man. As I say, it, uh, you know, they come here, they pay wages, they want to be entertained, so I like to, you know, entertain them. But, I mean, uh, football's first. I only do that when we're, when we're losing. It's, uh, you know, there's no chance. But do you enjoy being the hard man of Liverpool? You're seen as kind of a, yeah, I mean, yeah. a modern-day Tommy Smith, aren't you? Yeah, I mean, uh, that's, that's something that's, uh, you know, really... Uh, Stuck with me over the years. I mean, uh, in the past, I was a bit of a hothead and used to have a rush of blood and get involved in stupid things. But I mean, uh, one season I was top of the booking chart, which, uh, as a young lad, I thought was really good. And, uh, but I mean, uh, as you get older and uh, more experienced, you realise it was a bit stupid. But I mean, uh, you know, at the end of the day, you've, you've got to be a reasonable footballer, otherwise you would be at Liverpool. So I want to be remembered as a good footballer rather than the old man. Paul. Now you'll probably know that Neil's central defensive colleagues enjoyed varied hobbies. Mark Wright shoots, whilst Blom Bombshell, John Scales models. So does Phil Babb. So, Razor, king of the catwalk? That's not for me. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm the rugged centre half of the four, I think. No, I don't think. I don't fancy myself on the catwalk. I'd rather go down the pub and remain something. <laughs> you wouldn't fancy it? You wouldn't nah. fancy modelling anything? I'm embarrassed. I mean, um, camera yeah, shy. Yeah, I've noticed that. As yeah. you tell, I'm camera shy. But I've, I've, got, I've got no time for that, all the other hobbies I've got. Like what? <laughs> well, I, I, I like um, reading and writing poetry. At the gates of Eden stood a gentle angel with bowed head shining while a gloomy restless demon flew over hell's abyss. Thank you. Do you have any particular favourite poets? Yeah, I'm uh, very fond of Pam Ayres. I mean, uh, I grew up with her and, uh, you know, every, every Sunday evening on the telly and uh, it really takes me back and uh, I'm really missing her at the minute. Do you write poetry or do you just read it? Uh, yeah, I'll have a go. I mean, it's, it started when I was at Tottenham and uh, I was very good friends with Gordon Jury. The Scottish lad, and he took me to the Edinburgh Festival. And uh, <laughs> from then, I've been hooked on poetry, really. Do you, do you write your own? Oh, I do all the time. I mean, uh, if you was to ring my answer phone, there's a nice little poem on there waiting for you. I'm filling up reading this. <laughs>